Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 3rd of 2024 is titled Ice Clouds Over a Red Planet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from the surface of the planet Mars. Now this was taken uh, earlier this year by the Perseverance rover, which is exploring the surface of Mars. Now we see a few things here and we can start out looking at the surface and Mars is known as the red planet. And you can see that orangish red coloring that is caused by iron in the soil. Now iron when it combines with oxygen gives us iron oxide or rust which has that reddish brown ruddy color that we're used to seeing and that is making up a lot of the surface of Mars. So we see a lot of that in the rocks here. Now Mars also has a very thin atmosphere but does have clouds as we can see today. So we can see some of those clouds up toward the right hand side. Now these clouds are ice clouds, so the Martian atmosphere does not allow for water clouds. In fact, water cannot be a liquid on the surface of Mars because the temperature and the pressure are not appropriate to allow that. And in fact, the pressure is far too low that water will not melt. So if you have ice on Mars, it will not melt. If it warms up, it'll turn directly from a solid into a gas, undergoing a process known as sublimation. And you may be familiar with that for dry ice here on Earth. Now the clouds are actually unusually structured and things that planetary astronomers who study the atmospheres of the other planets are trying to learn more about because they aren't really like Earth clouds in any case. So they're a little bit different in terms of structure, but are very icy as well as one of the differences. Now the other thing here we see a bright object off there over the horizon and that would actually be the sun as it is getting ready to set here on Mars. And we see some of that around there the bluish color is because of dust in the atmosphere of Mars. That dust is being scattered out from the sun and then appears to be scattered from the dust all around it. So the bluer light from the sun is then scattered preferentially and gives us distinct blue ring around the sun there because of dust in the Martian atmosphere. Now as Mars is farther away from our sun than Earth, the sun would appear smaller in the sky. You can't really tell that here because we don't have anything for perspective to see it. And it would appear fainter. So Mars would not be getting as much energy from the sun as Earth would because of the vastly greater distance. And in fact, Mars is about 50% farther away from the sun than Earth is. So its amount of energy it's getting would go down accordingly. However, it's still sufficient to be able to allow the rover to be able to gather these images even in the decreased amount of sunlight. So that was our picture of the day for December 3rd of 2024. It was titled Ice Clouds Over a Red Planet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be driveway sunspots. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.